Welcome back everybody to the fifth episode of my 1860 Munich Road to Glory career. Now if you missed last episode, we picked up a draw and two victories. We're currently sitting first place after eight games with 19 points. Kaiser Slautern has, has slipped up and, and they're on level points with up. Leipzig at the at the same amount of games, they have 16, 16 points. So we are doing very well this time now because even though we drew a game and lost the game, we're still in first. Today's episode, we're going to have a game against Duisburg, then this game against Union Berlin, quote me if I'm wrong, and then this game against KSC. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, I might be simulating this game against Union Berlin so I can get this game against SC Cologne in the Deutsche Poco underway. Maybe I can complete the whole month of October this time around. Uh, maybe try and add more games in an episode. Uh, hope to make the series faster, make the season faster, so I can get into the Bundesliga. Hopefully, I finish first. So I think I'm gonna be simulating this game against Union Berlin, but I am going to be playing these three next games. First training, and all of my goalkeepers have gone up in rating. Ryder to a 69, Ortega to a 67, and Iker to a 67. I think I'm gonna have to sell one of these keepers. I want to keep playing Ryder because he's he's. I want him to be a first team goalkeeper, but I think I might give Ortega and Iker some games on up until January and I'll try to sell one of them. Last episode I signed my first youth player Axel Saglam and he's a 50 overall with a potential of 60 to 76. He's only 15 years old right now so we're gonna have to wait until he gets 16 to see his actual potential. He looks like a decent player right now. Decent acceleration, decent physical, uh, okay technical for a 50 rated player. First game of this episode coming up against 6th place MSV Duisburg. I think that's how you say their name. I'm trying to, you know, I, I hope, hopefully you guys keep correcting me in the comments. Uh, MSV Duisburg, they're 6th place, 8 games played, 15 points, and we're away from home. Starting 11 for this game, Ryder, Kovac, Schindler, Kemp, Bandowski because he can play left midfield and left back. Beister, Adlung, Lendl, Bongonda, Iseka, and Okotai. Let's kick this match off away from home against Duisburg and uh, I don't know what to expect it's really hard to like expect anything of these games because I've never played versus any of these teams but every game we're gonna come out here and look to perform our best and pick up three points at the end of 90 minutes Beister running on the right hand side very nicely done from Beister Beister let's give it to Izeka Izeka let's use your dribbling very nice Izeka take it around this defender let's have a shot with Izeka yes <laughs> Leia Iseka scoring his third goal of the season. Very nice run. Beautiful dribbling from him. Very nice pass from Beister. I think I'm going to pick up Iseka after, after his two-year loan spell. I, maybe he's going to be very good. Very nicely rated after two seasons. But a very nice left-footed finish on a right-footed player. Scoring his third goal this season. Seven minutes into the match. We are up 1-0 away from home. And they're going to have a corner coming up in the 11th minute. And corners are, for some reason, the hardest things to defend. Ryder, get there and catch it. Very nicely done by my goalkeeper. Let's go, Bongonda. Push it forward. Use your speed. Very nice. Come on, turn on this defender. Get, no. Yes. Nice. Okay. Cut backwards. And yes, we're going to have our first penalty of the series. Bongonda gets taken down in the box. I don't know what the hell I tried to do right there, but still, I got rewarded a penalty for screwing up. And I think I'm going to take the penalty with Bongonda. Either way, he deserves it. He only has 57 penalties. Lindel is my best penalty taker, but I'm going to take it with Bongonda. Let's take it top left. Top left, Bongonda into the back of the net. Very nicely done. It was very hard to take that penalty because he only has 57 penalties. Bongonda slots in his second goal of the season into the top left corner. I think that's his second goal. Second goal, 29th minute. We are up 2-0. Nice interception, Bongonda to Okotai. Okotai, let's give it to Adlong. Adlong to Izeka. Let's get there, Izeka. Can he put in his second goal of the game? Izeka into the back of the net for his second goal in this match. It's 3-0, 43 minutes into this match. A very nice pass from Adlong. The defender almost touched that and defended it well, but Adlong gets it through the defender's leg. And Izeka scoring, I think it's fourth goal this season. Yes, fourth goal this season, 44th minute. We're up 3-0. And in the first half, 3-0. Let's jump into the second half and keep doing what we've been doing in this first half. No. Uh, it's too good to be true. I concede the 89th minute. Duisburg get one back. What was my defending over there? But it's still 3-1 and the game is completely out of reach. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, no, what the hell is going on? They score a second goal. What am I doing? 
I, what? What am I doing? We need to get this out. Okay, I just completely shut down. Oh, we still pick up a 3-2 victory. Two goals from Izeka and one goal from Bongonda. And we pick up three points. So now in this training, Ortega has gone up from a 67 to a 68. I think I'm going to play him in this next match that's being simulated. Second match of this episode coming up against 7th place Union Berlin. As you can see right there, we are first. After 9 games, we have 22 points. So I am going to be simulating this match. It's a home game and I really do want to get that Deutsche Pokal game into this episode. So I'm going with a very rotated lineup. Ortega, Kagelmacher, Wutrich, Valori, Bandowski, Klassen, Lacazette, Isisek, Rama, Mugosa, Molders. We simulate to the end and we pick up a 2-1 victory. Adlon coming on in the 82nd minute to seal the deal with a, a second goal and Mugosa scoring. And we pick up three points at home against Union Berlin. Raider has increased from a 69 to a 70. So finally we have a 70 rated goalkeeper. And he's just been doing well. He gets an A and an A. Very nicely done. Second game that we're playing coming up against Karlsruher SC. And they're currently 11th place after 10 matches. Three victories, three draws, four losses, 11 and 11, goal differential of zero, 12 points away from home. Hopefully we can walk out of here with three points. We are currently sitting first with 25 points after 10 matches. Starting 11 for this match, Ryder, Kovac, Schindler, Kemp, Vitek, Beister, Lacazette, Adlong, Bongonda, Iseka and Okotsai. Talking about Aaron Lea, Iseka, three goals in the last three matches. He has just been outstanding. Yeah, honestly, I didn't think he was going to be much. I just really needed, a, a, I guess, a backup, backup striker. But he's just come into the team and he already has four goals. Hopefully, he can pick up another goal in this game. As you can see, him running right there. Going to try to give it over. Let's get there, Izeka. Izeka, go for the header. There's Okotai. Go for the header, but it blocks off the defender and goes straight to the hands of the goalkeeper. Watch the Schindler. Watch the pass in the middle, Schindler. Watch the pass in the middle, Schindler. And I just left him free for a shot over there in the 14th minute. They put it into the back of the net. Terrible defending for me. And it's 1-0 for Karlsruhe in, in the freaking 14th minute. That's two opportunities. One, they blasted it off the bar. But they make no mistake there and put it into the back of the net. And I'm trailing in this game. 14 minutes in. Let's give this to Lacazette. Lacazette, give this to Kovac. Kovac, Beister, start running. Let's go, Beister. Let's go, Beister. Beister, cut inside Beister. Maximilian Beister, but it's blocked. By Mefret. 45th minute. We are going to have a corner coming up. Yes, I see the guy over there. That's Adlung. Very nicely done by Adlung. Let's take a shot with Adlung. Let's take a shot with Adlung. Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. And I'm going to be down 1-0 at the end of the first half. Against a freaking team that's so much worse than me. I just conceded such a stupid goal. And it's 1-0. Go back to Beister. Beister, take this. Let's go, Beister. Some, nobody's going to help him, so you know what? Let's give this to Adlung. Very nice. Adlung to Okotai. Okotai, let's have a shot near post. Okotai into the back of the net. Saves us. Puts us up at 1-1. It's drawn level in the 51st minute. Very nice pass from Adlung. And that's how you freaking do it. That's how you get back into the game. Very nicely done. Okotai finally scoring after, I think, maybe the second or third game. Third goal this season, 52nd minute. It's drawn level at 1-1. Go, Adlung. Bong on the... Bongo die into the middle. Give this to Okotai. Okotai is there. Okotai is there. Give this to Izeka. Yes, Izeka. What a skilled finish. I don't know why I did that, but still, it's cocky. It's into the back of the net. A sweaty goal. I could have taken it with Okotai, but you know what? I'm like, let Izeka get the goal. And he's there with a skilled finish. Very nicely done. Into the back of the net. Putting a little bit of flair on the goal. Fifth goal in the second Bundesliga. 71 minutes in. We're up 2-1. I told you. I always freaking trail from behind, but I managed to bring it back. But it's going to be blocked, and hopefully the referee blows the whistle. Very nicely done. So in three matches already in this episode, in the second Bundesliga, we have three victories, nine points, and now we do have a game in the Deutsche Poco coming up against FC Cone, and I think they're in the first Bundesliga, so it's going to be a very tough match to play. Right after this match, we've received a monthly scouting update, and the only player who does look decent and when i say decent he's 39 overall to 53 overall with a potential of 65 to 89 is this guy manuel dyerson and uh, he has decent acceleration so i think i'm just gonna continue scouting all these players see what happens after three months final game of this episode coming up against fc cone in the deutsche poco the second round of the Deutsche Pogo, I don't know when round one was, but whatever. And this is a Bundesliga side, so it's going to be very tough to play against this team. 
Hopefully, I can seal out at least a victory because it's going to be a, a very big confidence booster. And they want us to reach the round of 32. That's what they said. And it's going to be very cruel if we don't... Oh, we actually are at the round of 32. So whatever, it doesn't really matter. So let's jump into this match. Hopefully, we can walk out of here with a victory. It would be very nice. A morale booster for the team and for me. Starting 11, Ryder, Kovac, Schindler, Kemp, Vitek, Beister, Adlung, Lindo, Bongoda, Mulders, and Okotai. Well, let's do this. They have Anthony Modest. They have Bitten Court. They have some very decent players. Jose Norris, Sorensen, decent defenders. Uh, Timo Horn in goal. It's going to be very tough to pick up a victory here. Coming up against a Bundesliga side, I'm going to go straight away on counterattack. And I'm going to go on defensive because we need a lot of players back. And I do not want to concede very many goals. It's going to be very, very tough. Uh, tough, as I've said already like three times. But I'm just emphasizing how tough this match is going to be. Lacosinar into the middle. Ryder and Modest. 13 minutes in. We concede already against Cohn. What do you want me to do? It's just This guy was playing over here and he gives it into the middle. Kempf tried to make a challenge straight to him. First time pass. Ryder had no chance there. In the 14th minute, we're down 1-0. It's Ek into the middle to Adlung. Let's go, Adlung. Adlung played the ball through Mulders. Let's get there, Mulders. Mulders take it with... No! The save by Timo Horn. Mulders just put so much power on that. It wasn't able to beat Timo Horn. Someone get on him. And he scores near post. How in the world? I had a player on him in Bittencourt. Puts it into the back of the net. I'm trying to take it off of him with Schindler. And I get there. And he scores from an impossible angle. Leonardo Bittencourt puts it into the back of the net. 21 minutes in. We're down 2-0. You have Beister. Nice Beister. Some support. Take this Beister. Go. Beister into the middle. Who is that? That's Lindo. Lindo. Pick it up. Give it into the middle to Mulders. No. Why to Okotai? Why did it go to Okotai? But it comes back. Get there. Please, no, this game just decide where it wants the ball to go. Come on, Bongoda, there's two freaking guys on you. Cut inside. Yes, Bongoda. Let's have a shot, Bongoda. And it's saved by Timo Horn. Come on, Mulders, take this. Mulders, please. Yes, we get something. We get a penalty, a shed of hope. 42nd minute, we're going to get a penalty and no card given. But I don't even care. Mulders gets taken down. And it's 2-1 and we're going to have a penalty. Lando is our best penalty kick taker. Let's take this with Lando. I'm going top right. I'm going top right. I'm going top. Oh my god. No. Are you kidding me? Corner coming up. Send this in please. Someone get there. Bongonda into the middle. And it's blocked. Once again. Couldn't even convert a penalty. The goalkeeper just... Lights out this game is saving everything down 2 0. We missed a penalty, we missed so many opportunities. One shot, one goal. They've oh my god, we need to jump into the second half. We need two goals if we want to progress into the next round. Come on, Okotai, let's have a shot. Okotai, Okotai, it's blocked. It's either blocked or saved, or blocked or saved, or just nothing wants to go right. We have our goalkeeper in the middle. Let's send in a cross. Let's send in a cross. Who's there? It's punched away by the goalkeeper. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Get this, Lacazette. Lacazette on Modest, someone make a challenge. Oh, and it's over. It's freaking over. It is over. Modest is just going to take it. There's no way to stop him because... He, oh, my. How in the world is he just... Oh, my God. How did he take it past everybody? How did he take it past everybody? How? How in the world did that happen? Oh, my God. From to make fucking things worse. He, oh, my God. Oh, and we're out. We're definitely out. And that's it. It's over. It's... Oh, my God. And a fourth. They score a fourth. They just to put the nail in the fucking coffin and they're still celebrating like a bunch of cunts. That's the end of the game. We're out of the freaking Deutsche Pokal. After one round, we pick up a 4 nothing loss against a Bundesliga side. What do you want me to do? Doesn't really matter. We still pick up 268,000 additional transfer budget, which is going to be really helpful for us, especially because we don't have that much. So we're going to have roughly around 300 something K. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, I know we weren't able to win in the Deutsche Pokal. I knew it wasn't going to be an easy game, but we pick up a 4 nothing loss. But we are still... Sitting at the top of the table with 28 points after 11 matches. Leipzig is behind us with 5 points. They have 23. So, we're just doing good in the table. Kaiserslautern are now 5th. 
So if you guys have enjoyed this video, you can leave me a like down below. Thank you guys so much for supporting this series, telling me which players to buy in January and next season. And I will see you next time. Why the fuck you lying? Why? Lying about what? Why you always lying? <laughs> what am I lying about? Subscribe to a channel. But I am subscribed. Stop fucking lying. Okay, I'll go subscribe.